Hey everybody, Adam here. Hope everyone is doing well. So I wanted to make a quick video showing you this trick I've been using while constructing our new house to make the process a little bit easier. But first, just in case anyone's wondering why these studs are green, they're gonna be exposed on the inside of the room, so easier to paint them before they get turned into walls. That's all that's going on there. But back to the main point of the video. So if you've ever framed with two by sixes or even worse, two by eights, you know they're a lot heavier than two by fours. And if you're working by yourself, it can be really difficult to get those walls up. Even with a helper, they can be tricky sometimes. It's not really that it's an issue to lift it up into the vertical position, that's not so hard. But once it's standing in that vertical position, if you're a little clumsy or you lose your, your grip, it could easily tip in either direction. So to solve that problem, I came up with this contraption here, I'm calling it a wall square. And to be fair, I don't know if other people have done this or if there's an official name for this thing. I'm just going with wall square. I like the way it sounds. So anyway, uh, it's very simple. It's just a basic frame, of bottom plate, top plate, three studs. There's a eight foot leg brace over here on one end, four foot one in the center. And the only reason that one's four feet is because it's just the other half of one of these studs that I cut in half. And then over here on this end, I've got a simple two by four cleat. And how it works is, put it on the ledge of your slab. If you don't have a ledge, you can just put it right on the ground. Fasten the cleat to the last frame that you just put up. Get the braces secure. And then when you lift up your wall frame, you can just push it right up against it. And there's no way it's going to tip over. And as long as the wall square, which is why I call it this, as long as that is square level and plumb, then your wall is square level and plumb, provided it's flush to it. One more little thing. I was working from left to right, which is why I've got the cleat on the left. If I was working from right to left, I just move the cleat over there and move that brace over here. Everything's put together with screws so it can be easily taken apart and put back together, which also makes it a lot easier to move around. And yeah, that's it, it's very simple. Oh, so another thing I like about this though, that I forgot to mention is once I've got my wall up and against the wall square, then I can just put one hand on it. Yeah, I don't have to push hard or anything. I know it's not gonna tip back on me. And then I can use my free hand to use my impact driver, hammer, level, etc., with no fear of the wall falling over. And I'll give you one more tip for lifting up heavy wall frames. Another trick I've been using. So take this frame, for example, that's got this doorway in it. Anytime you've got a frame with rough openings, it's gonna be heavier because you've got extra studs in there. So what I did was I built that frame, that section of the frame, I built it on the ground, the whole thing. Then I removed the rough opening for the door. So I removed the jack studs and the headers still connected to each other. And then I added them back after I put up the rest of the wall frame. So that probably took uh, maybe like 30 pounds off the weight of the wall. Anytime you can remove a stud from a frame and then add it back after it's up, you'll take off about 10 or 15 pounds. So hopefully somebody found this useful and I will see all of you in the next video.